couple of people have contacted me uh, having trouble getting things configured for our Collaborate sessions. So I thought I'd put together a little video to, to elaborate on how to get this configured and maybe sort out some of the links that I've sent you to uh, give you what the relevant information is that you need in order to get this set up and running. Uh, the biggest thing to get across is that you shouldn't wait to do this. If you put this off until a few minutes before the first class session, you're not going to be able to get it all set up in time to actually join us for that first class session. So make sure you put in some time uh, in advance of that to actually uh, get things configured and, and get things running. Uh, a good place to start is actually with the Learning Technologies website. This is our office here on campus that handles uh, configuring things like Blackboard and other learning technologies that we use here uh, for teaching at Stetson. Uh, and it's simply uh, stetson.edu slash learning dash technologies. Um, if you go to that website, what you're going to find uh, are some links at the top here, one of which says collaborate. And you want to click on that, not any of the submenu items, but you actually click on the word collaborate. Uh, that'll give you some overview information, but there's this section that talks about first-time users. This link should take you to a self-assessment. So what it does is it actually scans your system and it makes sure that your operating system is good and that your version of Java is good uh, for whatever the latest version of Collaborate is. If you see any red check or red X's here rather than green checks, you know you've got something you need to update before you can actually run Collaborate. In addition, it's going to give you information about the Collaborate launcher application. This is actually an application that lives on your hard drive and it can, it can actually run the Collaborate sessions for you after you uh, try to join a room. Uh, I've got it here on my Mac and it looks something like this. This is what the icon looks like. It's this you know, purple square with the two arrows pointing to the right. Um, that's what you're going to look for uh, with the Collaborate Launcher application. I'll come back to that in a minute, but if you sc keep scrolling down on this page, you should see, in addition to configuration information, there's this online orientation. This can be pretty useful for first-time users because it gives you a little bit of a, an overview of what happens inside a Collaborate session once you actually join the, the virtual room for our, our meetings. Um, and so it can be good for you to understand how the chat works, how the video camera works, how uh, just communicating back and forth inside of the Collaborate session works, okay? Um, the other thing you need to be aware of is actually using the Blackboard website. I know I've sent some links out uh, and I can see that some people have already started logging in. That's good, uh, but everybody needs to make sure that they're going to the Blackboard site, using the Blackboard site, because that's going to be the main way that I deliver content for this course. So if, if you log in to blackboard.stetson.edu, okay, you're going to see in, in, amongst your list of courses, you should have a, a link to Introduction to Computing, which is the name of our course. Uh, and when you land on the course website, it should pop up with this uh, Twitter feed. If it works properly, I might have to actually re refresh it. I don't know. Let's see here. Is it going to work for me? Let's try... Doing this one more time. There it is. Okay. So the Twitter feed pops up here in the post. And the reason I use the Twitter feed is actually it's a quick way for me to post updates uh, without having to log into Blackboard and everything like that. Uh, inside the syllabus and fact, I've got a number of questions. You can look at the syllabus and start reviewing uh, this uh, and some common questions. I've, I've answered them here. Uh, there's also this material for our first class that's here where you can uh, review the syllabus and uh, take a practice quiz and do a practice assignment. Uh, but for collaborate sessions, there's this link right here on the left hand side that you can click on and it should go ahead and bring you to where our main session is. You're not going to create a session but you're going to actually click down here where the list of scheduled sessions is. There's one that says intro to com introduction to computing. Click on that okay, and it's going to bring you to this room details and what you want to do is join room and again that Blackboard Collaborate launcher there's a link right here where you can actually install that if you click on this the first time it might actually bring up a window that actually tells you that uh, you need to install something okay uh, on the Mac it kind of did this little animation for me and I should mention uh, Safari works a lot better than Chrome and this that's at least been my experience Chrome is not exact not friendly to all the Java that gets used in order to make this happen uh, but it's actually going to download a little file um, if I can get to the my downloads, there it is. Okay, meeting.collab or meeting-4.collab. Okay, um, on the Mac, it it won't automatically launch the launcher application for me. I have to actually double click on it, and then it's going to launch Blackboard Collaborate. Uh, I sh will probably get a security warning saying, "Are you sure you want to run this?" Okay, the first time you run it, uh, yes. In fact, if the, if you downloaded it from the Blackboard website, you actually have a valid version of Blackboard Collaborate. I went ahead and left this up just to show you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and hit run until it, that it's okay to run that uh, f uh, for the rest of whenever. Um, Okay, your Java version might be out of date like mine is. I'm going to go ahead and skip this version because it said that it's okay for me to run this uh, on the current version that I have. Uh, and eventually, you should see the virtual room pop up for uh, 
co uh, collaborate. Okay, there it is. Okay, I had to switch back over to the application. But this is what it looks like. You're not going to see this uh, item about uh, recordings, but this is the basic layout for uh, Collaborate once you get inside the session. If you got to this point after joining a room, you're actually in a Collaborate session and you're ready to go for our class meetings. This is where we will all meet up and you'll see this list of participants grow as each one of us logs into the room. Uh, you can see everybody that's logged in here. I'm not going to go over the features of this because that's where that, that first time users uh, participants orientation comes into play. But, so go ahead and go over there if you want to get a little bit of an orientation about how this window works. But hopefully that's enough information to get you logged in and actually in the room for our virtual sessions in Blackboard Collaborate.